Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Robeson and thank you for coming back today. This is a special occasion because tonight I'm here going to show you as we celebrate the reveal of Scott and Rick's rooftop terrace here in San Diego, California. This video is the second of two of my time. I spent a week here in San Diego, California with my son and his partner. We had a great time and in 48 hours, we made a huge difference in two rooms of his house. I happen to be sitting in one right now. We didn't even know it was a room at the time, but you know what? It most certainly is. The other room we did was his master bedroom. The two of them and I worked really hard together for two full days, 48 hours, and boy, did we make a difference. That video went up last week, so if you haven't seen it yet, when you're done watching this one, after you leave a comment and give a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed, I'd highly recommend you go and watch that video too, because what we did in their bedroom, mm, 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 amazing. We are now headed upstairs because huh, all their outdoor furniture is right here in their loft room. And uh, because they had, remember I mentioned a water leak. So we are very ambitious around here. We thought, wouldn't it be cool if by chance we could address this outdoor space as well? So this is your outdoor space, right? Yeah. They just repainted the floors. They fixed the leak. That was good. So we've talked about maybe doing a sitting area over here, like a uh, sectional sofa kind of thing or some sort of outdoor patio furniture. You want to do a, um, a lemon tree, which I think is such a great idea, like a Meyer lemon tree yeah. kind of thing. That would be so nice. Because he's an amazing cook, you guys. <laughs> Let me show you what he's been making for dinner every night. So it'd be nice to have a lemon tree. Gosh, we should just do an herb garden too while we're at it. But anyway, there's that. <laughs> um, Scott would like there to be some sort of an area rug. So we're going to kind of think of what would be uh, reasonable to put up here for an area rug or maybe come up with something more creative. Some material or decking. Or... Yeah, some sort of a texture. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then over here, by where you look out over the balcony, we've talked about some sort of sitting place, like a table and chairs, at least to feed four people, so you could sit down and have dinner out here. Um, maybe we would have room for a, an umbrella, maybe, if it's even necessary, I don't know. And um, what else? Oh, potted plants. Yeah. They've got some great pots that they already bought at Costco. We would love it if there was an area up here someplace that we could do a fire pit. Yeah. If it, if it fits in the budget, a fire pit would be amazing. Okay. Yeah. So, that's what we're going to look for. Wish us luck. Get yourself two of these. We already have two of those, Mom. And that's embarrassing. Too. And the umbrella for the beach. <laughs> outdoor and then look you could get the butterfly pillow to go with it and you go yeah. back to Ikea and get those butterfly lights and how she didn't hear the masculine oh that's actually I like that with your gray pots hey it got tiles here all black you did say you wanted to do black up there and those are only $19.99 let's try it I mean if you bought several of those and put them together it would look like an area rug underneath of your sofa and it would give you the green i think it's really cool and different let's get one of those you could have your little own greenhouse up there next stop on the trail Lowe's for more outdoor furniture so far we are having success right guys yeah i am The Home Depot. Yellowish flower.
flowery tree. Ah, this one looks like it's going to bloom here pretty soon too, which is nice. Does it give a price? Citrus Tangelo. 131. TJ Maxx and Home Goods. It's getting serious. Got your teak. Yeah. Ah, look at that. It's like 10 feet, 2 inches. Okay, and the width that we have up there is 12 feet, 4 inches. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to take these feet off because some guy named Rick got this one whole. Ah! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> putting grass in this area because there's going to be a sectional sofa right there, right here. So we're going to put grass down. But if we just put the grass down by itself, the grass is going to get wet from rain and then it's going to be, well, it has like a black bottom you can see right there. Yeah, and it has holes in it exactly. so that it does, but if it's, it's kind of porous. But if it's sitting on surface, see those? But if okay. it's sitting on the flat surface, it's, it's going to get mildew, right? And musty and gross. So we're putting this black decking underneath it, so it's kind of okay. got slits and holes and stuff, and it can drain. Okay, tomorrow's the big day, though. That's when most of this is going to happen. You're going to try one of these? I just want to take a look at it. I want to see uh, the height difference. The guys are continuing to work. So I'm lying here watching television while the boys are upstairs working and I'm just thinking how proud of them that I am because these boys, both Rick and Scott, they're driven. And when they have a plan and something they want to accomplish, they'll just work night and day to get it done. I don't know where, I don't know where Rick got it from. I might know where Scott got it from. <sighs> Tomorrow's going to be a big long day and it is going to be awesome magic is going to happen. I mean, it's already happening, but you can see it's not really magic. It's hard work and it's dedication, but it can be done. You can make a difference in your home in just 48 hours. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You got it all the way to the end. It's 830. You did. Look at you're so sweaty. <laughs> you did that in record time. furniture high is being delivered so Rick this could go over uh, almost two inches cut the tags off of the pillows There you go. Perfect. You sure it maybe that that clicks into this piece right there at the bottom? Oh, so they have options. That's cool. Ah, uh, yay! Oh, Scott, you're so smart. You just know how to figure stuff out. This is exciting. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It fits. You guys are doing such a good job at cutting the lawn. <laughs> All right, let's just, this may not be the right size and it gets skinnier down there, but let's just see what this looks like. It just fell in any of the other spots. had a long day of working today for install and the guys are bringing up the plants now um, I'm already sitting in my cozy spot and just sitting here watching them work <laughs> <laughs> 
Isn't this a typical site in a hallway of a condominium complex? In comes the lemon tree. Welcome to the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> I love you so much. Time to start planting some of the plants. Lying here, so hear me out. What are you doing? Tickling the geranium. I feel like this is one of your, like, statements that you'd make on, like, a Christmas video. You're like, you just take those blue balls and you shove them deep. <laughs> just tickle the bottom of the geranium. Just light right. tickle. Take the geranium tickle She has the no idea. She's thinking about roots and we're all like, mm. Scott, I said tickle, not spank. Come okay, on. I tickled it and then I fed it and now it has to burp. <laughs> <laughs> regular plant people. We're sorry. Yeah. That's basically what no. we want to say. Feel free to tell me how to do this correctly because I may have been killing these plants this whole time and I really don't mean to because I think they're super cute. Today's the day of the reveal of Scott and Rick's uh, bedroom as well as their outdoor space. So I've made a last minute emergency trip to find, try and find some um, outdoor dishes so we can set the table. And I think it'd be nice to leave for them. Um, so yeah, I'm out incognito in Fashion Valley. Hope I don't run into any, anybody I know because I look terrible. But anyway, getting her done. <laughs> Welcome to Scott and Rick's Rooftop Terrace. Oh my gosh. This is like, I think we just increased the square footage of their home by, I don't know, a whole nother room. We've got a dining room, we've got a kitchen, we've got a living room, all in one space. So we started with, first off, the foundation. Let's talk about the foundation. We put in AstroTurf as an area rug for this outdoor space. So the sofa and the chair and this table, this all sits on top of this area rug, but it's surrounded by Ikea planks. We created a walkway here all the way around in the entire dining space. What an amazing foundation for what was in the beginning a very cold, um, stucco concrete existence. It is not that anymore. We got this great umbrella. It was so glad. We didn't even know when we bought it that it came with the lights in it. I was gonna string market lights, but no, it has lights in it. We've got some beautiful dishes here, and I love these uh, placemats. I, I went out today and bought this whole set for the kids. Very masculine. I will be honest with you, I first picked out some, um, it's, it's like melamine, you know, like you can drop it and it won't break, so it's great for outdoors. But I picked out one that had an Italian print, a blue and white, and I was like, oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> Rick looks at it and he goes, I don't know if Scott's gonna like that. So he sent Scott a picture. Oh, let me fix this for you, honey. Gotta get this just right. Um, he sent a picture to, to Scott and Scott said, ew. I love this corner. This is a great corner because it has this pop out here of the stucco. It gives this a little bit more protection, not only from sun, but also from the wind, which can be, you know, I don't know, I'm assuming it can get, it's never gonna be like Oklahoma, I can tell you that. That's where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. In this section, remember I said there's a sectional, and yes, indeed there is, but we accessorized with blue pillows because blue is kind of the color that we decided to tie through the house. This table does more than what you see here. It's perfect. We actually used, we pulled in some of the extra floor tiles. And we laid them on top here for entertainment. I happen to love this table. I call this a C table, and I think that's actually what they call them. So look, it's, it's a C. So it can, be, it can be pulled anywhere, which is what I like. I don't necessarily want to reach over for my drink, but I really like sitting here and just picking her up and letting her go. 
We went to Costco and we got an outdoor heater. And let me just say, you know these, you stand by them at restaurants, right? These are just so awesome. If you are, if you love to be outdoors at night, having an outdoor gas heater is just the bomb. And the last thing, last night, in fact, we hung in a zigzag pattern market lights. It is dreamy. Last night, I was up here with the guys as we were finishing up, we were finishing potting and everything. And we were just like, you know what? This is going to change the way we live our lives. This is gonna be something that we look forward to coming home to at night and just spending time together here in the house, in the bedrooms, and in the living room, they've got big televisions. This room, nope. It's all about being romantic, being communicative, catching up with each other. In fact, you could do that in the morning with coffee, right? But at nighttime in particular, how was your day, honey? Oh, let me tell you what happened to me. You're never gonna believe it, that kind of thing. Or having friends up here and enjoying a cocktail, barbecuing, and just really enjoying life. So. Here is a way to add a whole lot more square footage onto your home if you happen to have an outdoor space. Okay, so this is a smoker. It's not a traditional like gas barbecue, which means it has wood pellets that are augered into this like electronic device that just heats up these wood pellets and it smokes like a little choo-choo happening right here. I thought it would be fun for you to hear what the guys think of this new space that we've created together. I honestly, I love the space. Yeah. Like we came up here this morning when it was like nowhere near like this. And I was just like, I want to spend so much time up here. I want to work up here. I want to lay on the couch. Like, I just, I feel like this is a, a new room to a house that we've had and we haven't really ever utilized. It's an extension of our of our home. It's, you know, it's just right outside. They can kind of have an outdoor space. So it's, it's nice to just be, you know, just a, a doorstep away. And you took both of our styles, which are similar, somewhat different, and you merged those together and you created something that is out of this world. And I am wow. so grateful. You know what I think? What? It's an extra kitchen for Rick. <laughs> right. And Rick is very good at cooking. He is. I can't wait to come back and have you pick a lemon off the tree. Well, that's unfortunate because it's a mandarin tree. It's an orange tree? <gasps> you got your colors all wrong. Oh my gosh, I thought you bought a lemon tree. No, it. I, op I opened it and I potted it for you and I was like, well, first off it's Mandarin and it says th this thing is gonna get 10 to 20 feet tall. Oh boy, <laughs> we could put lights Ooh, in the tree. <laughs> can't wait to see what the HOA has to say about that. <laughs> Next time, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. We appreciate it when you do, and we always want to hear your comments, good, <laughs> bad, or ugly. Mostly the good ones, just to be honest, but we'll take the bad ones too. Rug, ugly. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs>